she was just just becoming happy again. And he just took it all away from her. Emotional testimony today in the courtroom after the jury finds Emmanuel Simpson guilty of first-degree murder. Thanks for joining us. Samson shot and killed Melanie Crow in the parking lot of the Burnett Chapel Church of Christ back in 2017. Today, family members and the pastor of the church took the stand, reliving the tragedy in front of the jury who will decide Samson's fate. News 4's Rebecca Cardenas has been following the trial from the very beginning. Rebecca, now the defense is making their plea for leniency, mercy, if you will. Yes, exactly, Tom. And the sentence hearing wrapped up for today. Just about an hour ago, the last person to take the stand was Samson's sister, telling the jury horrific stories of abuse from their childhood. Now, you'll remember the defense's argument throughout this entire trial was that Samson's depression and suicidal thoughts are what drove him to show up at the church with that gun, not an intent to hurt anyone. Well, now that he's been convicted, they're asking the jury to consider parole. His sister paints a picture of a troubled childhood. She says their mother once threw boiling water on her, cut her with a kitchen knife, and that she would beat Samson with anything she could find. Whatever my dad put her through, she puts it back on him. He was being bullied for being one dark skin. Well, why would people bully him for being dark skinned? Explain to the jury. You get bullied for being dark, not by white, but our own African Americans, if you're, you're not light skinned, you're not pretty hair, nappy hair, and we're foreigners. So they picked on him for being extra dark, tall, skinny, you don't have the popular clothes, our hair was not always up to part. The sentencing hearing will resume on Tuesday after the holiday weekend. The prosecution is seeking life in prison without possibility of parole here. Several church members asked the district attorney's office not to seek the death penalty. Tom Tracy. Rebecca Cardin is live for us. Rebecca, thank you. Friends and family of the victim took the stand today after the guilty verdict was read. The pastor of the church also spoke. He says members looked up to Melanie Crow. Pastor Joey Spann delivered an emotional testimony. Members of the church say that Melanie Crow battled with depression and anxiety and was becoming one of the happiest people they knew. Pastor Spann says Melanie will never get to fulfill her future plans, but she will always be remembered for her smile. He says the church has lost a sense of security without her. It's been, <clears throat> excuse me, it's been re referenced by different <clears throat> people that people have their spots in the church. And they do. She had her spot. But it's empty. Very tough day for that pastor and all the people in the church today. The pastor says nothing has been the same since Melanie was killed. And Melanie Crow's family took the stand, delivering a tearful testimony. Melanie's sister says she was building on her faith with God. She says she saw the news of the shooting on TV. She says Melanie's daughter called her and heard her mother was shot. I did view the body myself. I'll never get that image out of my head. And I had to go to my mother and my niece and nephew and tell them that they didn't need to see her like that. That morning when she had gotten to church, when she was in the parking lot, she sent me a Snapchat video. And I didn't pay as much attention to it as I should have. And then when I went back, you can't go back and watch those videos, videos anymore. Melanie Crow had two children. Her son will start high school this year.